In this video, we'll be starting our second unit on inequalities. Uh, so just going to give you a little introduction here on, and reminder on inequalities and their graphs. So this is a lesson 2.1. By the end of this video, you should be able to write, graph, and identify the solution set to inequalities. So remember, we were just working with equations. So there's an example of an equation. Remember, it's got that equal sign. Now the problems that we're going to have can look very similar, but the only difference there is that that symbol is no longer going to be an equal sign. It will be an inequality symbol. So meaning a little bit different than that equal sign. So let's go ahead and review the inequality uh, symbols here. Okay, so make sure you have your notes packet and you are copying these down in your notes packet. And then when you get done taking these notes, you can take a picture and submit that through Canvas to show your teacher that you did uh, watch this video for 2.1. So that first symbol there pointing to the left is a less than symbol. An example, x is less than 2. So all the numbers below 2 on the number line, it does not include 2. So when we graph that, that is an open circle on the graph. Okay, the next symbol, less than or equal to, an example is x is less than or equal to negative 4. So again, any number less than negative 4 on the number line, but this time it can equal number 4. So when we graph that, we put that closed circle on the graph. Okay, and the next symbol, notice we're pointing in the opposite direction with our symbol now, so that is the greater than symbol. Example, x is greater than 0, so all the numbers to the right of 0 on the number line, and it does not include 0, so when we graph that, that is also an open circle. The last symbol to review here, greater than or equal to, so it's got that extra line under it, like the less than or equal to symbol. And for example, x could be greater than or equal to 50. So any number greater than 50 uh, to the right of 50 on the number line, but it can actually equal the number 50. So when we graph that, we put a closed circle on the graph. So just want to continue on here and show you some examples, talk about what the words are for those inequalities, what the graph would look like, and some possible solutions. So this first one here, if I write it out in words, x is greater than 4. So when I graph that, I'm just going to put 4 on the number line. For greater than, if you refer back to your notes above this, uh, that is an open circle. So I'm going to put an open circle, and the numbers greater than 4 are to the right. So I'm going to shade to the right and put an arrow there. So a possible solution, uh, 4.5, you know, it could be a decimal, it doesn't have to be a whole number, uh, but like 10, any number greater than 4. Next one, x is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so on my number line here, I'm going to put a 10. It is equal to, so then when I make that circle, I fill that in. It's not letting me do that. Fill that in and then uh, shade to the left. That is less than. So those are the numbers less than or equal to 10. So 10 is a solution. Uh, but, you know, like 0 is a number less than 10. There's many numbers less than 10, okay? The next one, I noticed that it's written backwards. So I'm actually going to flip every single thing around. So I'm going to flip the x to the other side. I'm going to flip my symbol around. The closed part is towards x, and then I can write 3. So that is x is less than 3. So on my number line, I'm going to put a 3. That's an open circle because it's not equal to and then I'm going to shade to the left and put an arrow. So any number less than 3, so 2 would be a solution. Okay, the next one is also written backwards. So I'm going to flip that all around again. So I have x, and then the open part is towards x, so I have to leave the open part 
uh, towards x and then write my negative 7. So x is greater than or equal to negative 7. So on my number line, I'm going to write negative 7. It is equal to, so I'm going to fill in that circle. And then the greater than would be to the right. So shade those numbers to the right. And it could be negative 7, since it could be equal, but any number greater than negative 7. So like negative 4 is greater than negative 7. Okay, when I look at the next two, those two have the graph given to me. So this time I want to write the inequality and then write the words. Um, and you can kind of already see what the possible solutions are here. But on this first one, I'm going to put x. I see that it is an open circle and it's shaded to the left. So that's x is less than and then the circle is at 1. So I put 1. So x is less than 1. Okay, so like 0 would work, negative 10 would work. Okay, the next one, I'm going to put my x, and then I see it is a closed circle, and it's shaded to the right, so that's greater than or equal to, and that circle is at 0. So I'm going to put 0 there. So x is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so it can be 0 or any number greater, so like num 1, okay? And the last one here, it gives us the word, so x is less than or equal to 1. So I'm going to write that as an inequality, so x is less than, pointing to the left, or equal to, given that extra line, 1. And then on my number line, I'm going to put a 1, and then it is a closed circle. So I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to shade to the left because it's less than 1. Okay, so it can equal 1, so I'm going to put 1 or anything less than that. So like negative 3 would be a possible solution. Okay, see if you can try to write the inequalities for these three graphs. So go ahead and pause the video and try to write the inequalities on your notes page. And then unpause when you're ready to see the answers. So on number one here, we have the number eight. We have an open circle and it is shaded to the left. So that is X is less than eight. On number two, we have a closed circle. It's pointed to the right and we have the number negative 14. So X is greater than or equal to negative 14. And number three, I have an open circle and it's pointed to the right and it's at number seven, so X is greater than seven. Okay, the last part of our notes here are identifying solutions by evaluating. So just kind of looking at an inequality and saying, is this a solution to the inequality? So there's several different ways uh, to work this out, but we want to evaluate uh, whether negative 3, negative 1, and 0 are, the, are a solution to this inequality, okay? So uh, you can either take the number and plug it in for x and see if you get a true statement or not, or you can solve the inequality and see what kind of statement you get and then be able to answer yes or no. So for letter A here, if I plug that in for x, like if I say x equals negative 3. I'm going to rewrite the inequality. So 2x plus 1 is greater than negative 3. I want to plug negative 3 in for x. So 2 times negative 3 plus 1 is greater than negative 3. And I want to work that out. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then I have plus 1 is greater than negative 3. So on the left hand side, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 is greater than negative 3. So I need to ask myself, is that a true statement? Is negative 5 greater than negative 3? And the answer is no. So no, negative 3 is not a solution. Okay? So now I can do this with negative 1. 2 times negative 1 plus 1 has to be greater than negative 3. Well, here I get negative 2. I still have plus 1 is greater than negative 3. 
So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Is negative 1 greater than negative 3? The answer is yes. It's closer to 0 on the number line. So yes, negative 1 is a solution. And the last one, 2 times 0 plus 1 needs to be greater than negative 3. So 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And is 1 greater than negative 3? The answer is yes. So that means 0 is a solution to that inequality. Okay? So those are our notes. Make sure you take a picture and submit that. And then in class, we will be practicing some graphing and determining uh, whether a number is a solution to that inequality.